Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Dishonored. Um, don't mind that. Uh, yeah, I was gonna talk about the over, uh, not the overseer, the outsider a little more. Um, in this game, uh, there was this pervading fan th uh, fan theory that I really, really liked, that the overseer was essentially like a whale in human form. Because everything weird and dishonored typically either flows from a crazy inventor who managed to get something a little more widespread. Eat up, buddy. Um, or it flows from whales. So, for example, there's semi-modern electricity. Attention, Dunwall citizens. This is a special announcement from our... Uh, yeah, there's, like, electrical lights. This is the Lord Regent speaking. Um, you know, lanterns and stuff. Well, those things are made out of whale oil, but whale oil doesn't do that in real life. And also, when you look at the whales, they don't really look like whales. Well, it's because they're actually eldritch ancient beast gods. They're, they're elder gods that just happen to be called whales. Like, you know, we call them whales... Or they get called whales, rather, because it's, like, simple that way. For them to be thought of as whales. But they have nothing to do with actual whales, you know? Which is one of those things that I honestly love in world building. Where people are, like, they say something where, like, you believe yourself to have completely understood it. You know exactly what it is. Hi, Chaos, by the way. Um, you know, you believe yourself to have completely understood a concept or, or idea because you made an assumption. And that assumption is based off of just careful, the use of a word, you know? You're on your way to face the... I sure am, yes. What power did I get? Stop time. Man. Conceptually, I love the pistol. Um, and I'm glad I get to use it this playthrough because, like, it's so loud and... Uh, like... <laughs> short range as well. It's really more like a... It feels more like a shotgun most of the time. I'm going to kill guys in here as well. Like I said, I want everyone dead. Sounds like a fight's going on upstairs. In the LP that I did with my wife, there was this really good moment in one of the early episodes. Cool, cool, great. Wherein I shoot a man in the face and blood spurts out of him. Uh, I shoot a man in the face with a crossbow and blood shoots out of him. And my wife, you know, just because she's new at the game, misunderstands. And she's like, was that the, uh, was that the, uh, non-lethal bolt? Was that the sleep dart? And I'm like, yeah, sure it was. Good times. 
Man, now that I'm doing the like when you're this handsome, you don't need luck. I know that to be true. Um What was I saying? Oh yeah, now that I'm now that I'm doing a full aggression like violent playthrough, I am I am straight up starting to miss doing a playthrough where I Yeah, eat that guy. Yeah. Go, Raddies. Feast my brethren. I'm now actually starting to miss the normal playthroughs that you do in Dishonored, where you, uh, you know, you stealth around and don't kill anyone. Am I green grassing? Maybe that's what I'm doing, you know? Because, like, look at all these, look at all these awesome, cool playgrounds I have. And, like, I've done this game, High Chaos. I've done it killing everyone, I've done it stealthing everything. But like, look at these awesome, cool, like, interesting places that I can go and hide and run. These roofs that I can jump around on. You know, all these little secret things for me to find. And now I'm just going through it, you know, guns blazing and like, shooting, murdering, killing everyone. I feel, I feel like a, I feel like a maniac, you know? Well, you know, I guess it can be in character. You know, Corvo wants this problem solved, he'll solve it. The Corvo way. Am I done here? Yeah, see, look. You can start up on these and go here. Look, there's these there's goodies. Uh-huh. Kinda thought that would explode. Maybe I'll do a hard mode playthrough. Maybe I'll just restart again. Oh yeah, there's that. This. I, uh, part of the, part of the reason I'm playing this is literally I saw a video of somebody doing, like, a really hype, like, kill montage. Hmm? Ah, you. Yeah, I literally saw somebody do like a kill montage. And I was like, that's cool, I'll do that. Oh. There is a strong drink made here. I tried it once. Distilled from river crusts by the taste of it. A river crust is a uh is one of those weird little like plant guys. Who's making that noise? Buenos dias. Will this get me up there? Hmm. Maybe, do I have, do I have more? Because if I can upgrade blink. Nope. There we go. Spirited one. <laughs> I uh, totally forgot that uh, full damage even exists in this game. Now where am I? Ah. What was 
something. Somebody, get over here. Really? Really? Oh, okay. Got that one. Yeah, that's what I wanted to do. That's another thing, because if I'm if I'm playing this game and like I don't even touch people, because you can totally play this game without the sword, basically. And like I've done playthroughs where like I don't even interact with people in a traditional combat style fashion, you know? Go. Greetings, rats. We'll figure that out in a bit. Who's making that noise? Knock it off. Oh yeah, for some reason sneaking gets you less chaos. Oh yeah, that thing I was going to ask about earlier um, is that sometimes it is a thing where like sometimes it's a thing where like you killing somebody is like what uh, uh is what raises the stuff Th there's this invisible chaos meter and i say invisible but they actually do show you like they totally explicitly literally show you damn clean up um but as you're running around like if you're killing a bunch of guys then the chaos goes up if you're not, then the chaos will stay low. Oh, that was a tripwire for that thing. Okay, I think I got everything in here, right? Well, there's this stuff down here. Um, if you're killing guys, then chaos will stay low. Or no, if you're st <sighs> stealth will keep chaos low. Leaving people alive will keep chaos low. Knocking people out and not killing them will keep chaos low. Killing people can raise chaos. <laughs> I think my crimes are being discovered. You're alive? Yes, feast. Um, the thing is, is that ordinarily you would believe... Does this guy have legs? Oh, I yeah, the swing razor. Right, 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 right. Don't mind me. Um, ordinarily, you know, you would kill people and that would raise, you know, chaos. And the thing is, is that the chaos will actually raise plague as well. So you can end up with more plague in the city if you have high chaos. So what that means is that certain NPCs will not appear because they've been killed.
I owe you, brother. I won't ask. All right. See you, Griff. Huh? One, six, seven. Uh, yeah, so like. I th <laughs> rats is plague. Like, the plague originates from rats in this. In this game. Spirited. Ooh, let's put that on. And so you would think, and I would believe, that feeding rats would put more plague into the world, right? Like, and I feel like that's a logical conclusion to make. But on the other hand, if you hide corpses, like if I were to dump these guys in here, they would go unnoticed by other people. Yep, there you go. Um, yeah, if you hide corpses, then sometimes that means that they go unnoticed by people, which means you have lower, which means you have lower chaos because you have more stealth. Want to look at some of the things I found? Good um, I swear. so sometimes I'm not sure if it is a, uh. Cool. I'm not sure which of those it is. Because either of those makes sense, but I think it does make more sense for you to, like, feed rats and then for that to enhance the plague. Also, because somebody needs to usually be dead before um, plague rats will, you know, eat them. But if I wanted to, I could dump them in here. Attention, Dunwall citizens. Please clear... When a motorized carriage or stilt walker approaches on state business, be advised that such vehicles do not slow or stop to avoid citizens obstructing the way. I know I didn't see a kill playthrough. I, I I literally I saw um a video that's called Corvo's Bizarre Adventure, and it's literally just sound effects from the sixteen or thirty two bit JoJo fighting game. Uh, which I believe is called Judge's Bizarre Adventure Heritage, f Heritage for the Future. It's really good. I think it was made by Capcom. Throwing hand. Meh. Um, yeah, it's just really, really high quality. Uh, but the thing is, is that that's where the road roller combo is from. If you've... You know, that used to be w way bigger of a video. And for a while, for some people, that was all they knew about JoJo. For a while, that was all I knew about JoJo, that, there, that the road roller combo happens. Yeah, look at this dude. God. Sexy as hell. Leave the whale oil. Oh yeah, another thing. I don't think it's period just like, is a guy dead? Okay. Because I feel like deaths for somebody who is not like... Yeah, somebody who gets turned to vapor like that. <laughs> somebody who gets turned to vapor like that. There we go. So we also can... You know, hack this using the re the rewire tools, um, and that would allow us to pass, and those guys to get chewed up by the by the electricity, um, instead of the counterpart, which has already been what's happening. Also, we could have you know just climbed up here, because this is you know this is the place, but who cares? The thing is, is that like, especially in an immersive sim like this, you kind of just are behooved to grab everything you can because um, like Dunwall it's important that you do. John Clavering Boulevard has been designated a restricted travel area. Any oh yeah, another thing. This great. If you possess a rat. Oh, 
Uh, if you possess a rat, you can run through here. I think it spits you out like here. Yeah. Pardon me, raddies. Running with the fellas. No money? Damn. Um. Oh. Those do so much damage. And there's nothing to do about them. Like, if with a bullet, you can get out of the way or stop time or something. Wow. That's raw, dude. Sorry. Let's go in here. This is just a side area. Yeah, the thing about these immersive Simpsons is that Sims is that often it just behooves the player to to like essentially get everything. Uh, just because like you know you'll do it anyway. And so this leads to an interesting thing where sometimes you'll be like um, running around and they're like, don't go down there. It's not safe. You know, don't go that way. Go a different way. And then they're like, here, go this way. And like, that'll give you faction points with them or something. Or whatever. But the thing is, is that, like, you'll do both anyway. Oh, that was all glass in there, I see. Grapes, nice. The fact that these are named Sirkonin or Gristol or whatever, it's a very small thing, but I do greatly appreciate just, like, the fact that they are named like that. The fact that the name exists, you know? It makes you think about, like, the nature of the world and stuff. Like, we don't grow apples here. They grow in this country, in this area. Uh, these feeding notes and this arm indicate that the rats are being fed human meat. And somebody's just, you know, doing a little experimentation here. Right, that's the first floor. I can leave that lady alive. I don't really care. I do like the system where, like, you pick things up and then they're immediately converted to cash, like, as soon as they touch your pocket. It's kind of interesting. A little silly. It doesn't necessarily make sense, but... Hmm. Here's another thing about doing a, a high chaos playthrough. Because you're like, oh man, there's all these things that I'm not using. In a low chaos playthrough, though, there's all these things you're not using, you know? You, you're still not using them. Because in a low chaos playthrough, you're not meant to be using the, um... Hmm. I think this one is, like, a uh, really subtle... Oh yeah, these dueling pistols still have bullets in them. Does that make sense? That your show pistols that are up on a wall in a little display case are loaded? That's like asking for a Mitchell-style mystery to happen. In the movie Mitchell, featured on Mystery Science Theater 3000. I went there. Okay. I want to crack that safe. Hmm. But yeah, like it gives you it gives you a little point of consideration. Like we can't grow apples here. We have to get them from somewhere else. That's nice. I like that. Help me. 
This is a blood choke, it's fine. Just to let you rest. I was gonna throw in the bathtub, but I imagine that might hurt, like, hit her head. I'd like to avoid that. Is there a chair around here? I guess the carpet's fine, yeah. Yeah, that's the thing. I am here to kill everyone. But I'm not here to be a dick. You know, like... That's not actually what I'm looking for. That's not what I'm doing. That leads back to clavering. Yeah. I love this because this means that people are like scouring this globe in order to like see the details in order to try to map the world. Because it's a constructed world, so... You gotta. I think I remember the paintings being the... There we go. I think I remember the paintings being the way that, uh... You solved that earlier puzzle. Too far down. Um... Or is it in like this? There's a lot of uh, like Memento Mori paintings that have like a skull hidden in them. Like there's this one painting where like if you're if you're standing here at the painting, then uh, uh, the the skull will like assert itself. Also, we, earlier we saw the this thing. Hmm. Oh wait. Damn, I think that's actually something that we need um what's his name? I think we need um we might need somebody alive to tell us that. Which is a damn shame. Does this lead anywhere? Nope, locked off. Yeah, when you're doing, like, low chaos, you're using all your, like... I mean, there's no invisibility in this game, but, like, I was thinking of Deus Ex Human Revolution where there is. But, like, when you're doing all stealth... One moment. Ugh. Sorry, excuse me. When you're doing, um... you know, all stealth all the time. You'll see invisibility stuff going on, you know? You'll turn invisible. You'll use all the air vents, you know, sneak around, try to remain untouchable. And as a result, you will never use something like the Typhoon. Um, you know, you'll never use anything but the, like, stun gun or the tranquilizer rifle. You'll do, you know, a great amount of... Oh, man. We're getting there. This one's really good. Oh, it's you guys. Take him down, please. Gonna feed you to the Knock it off. Let's just top off if we're gonna be like touched, you know?
do, 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 do. But yeah, like in this game, you know, obviously you get a lot more time in every level because stealth takes so much longer. You get so much more things. Um, you know, you see a lot more. You spend a lot more time doing stuff. And those are all cool. Sleep. What a sight you are in that mask. I know who you are and what you're here to do. And I can... <sighs> all right, I won't be of any help. Are we supposed to make sure that you live? Um, spare Captain Kernow. You're later. I think you need to be alive. I'll leave you alive just in case. If I see Samuel the boat, I'll tell him to pick you up in the backyard. Behind the office of the high oak. Um I was just reading in the archive about the heretic's bread. It sounds This is actually hold on. What does this say? Hatters fired the first shot, but Bottle Street Gang fired the last. Oh, okay. Um, another good advertisement right there. Hmm. God, I was definitely just talking about something. Oh, yeah. Um, When you play a game, all kills you see all of the stuff, you know? So, like, for example, if you're going to play Deus Ex All Kills, that is the only way that you, the player, are going to be able to see the shotgun in action, the machine gun, a sniper rifle, you know? And if you're going to do all stealth, you'll probably just stick with a silenced pistol. And if you're going to do no kills, you'll stick with the tranquilizer. Um, so you will miss out on something doing a playthrough. It really is impossible to get everything. In something like Bioshock, you can, you know, try every playstyle because you just swap it out. But for something that is a bit more strict of an RPG, you know, you get a little, you get a little more here. So, like, I am glad that I am uh, uh, doing a bit more violent of a playthrough this time. I am missing my ability to, like, you know, be cool and cat-like and sneak around. Maybe I should just be a little more tactical. Uh, but I am having a good time. Uh, but I'll see you guys next time. I have an outfit that's been dishonored. Uh, have a good day.